Now to the latest on the manhunt in Maine. A massive search is on for the gunman who killed at least 18 people and injured 13 others. There is a lot to cover, so let's get right to NBC's Alice Barr, who's in Lewiston with the latest. An urgent manhunt for suspected mass murderer Robert Card growing in scale and intensity. Uh, all of our partners have uh, been continuing to work 530 plus tips and leads uh, that have come in uh, from the general public, uh, from a number of communities, a number of different relationships. Until he's found tens of thousands remain under shelter in place orders. Card is suspected of killing at least 18 people and injuring 13 more. In a Lewiston bowling alley and a nearby restaurant and bar, survivors describing the terror. I almost wish that I was up closer to him when he came in because um, I, every time I close my eyes, I, uh, I visualize myself uh, attacking him. Grief-stricken families can't begin to describe the loss. The world lost a great girl and I lost a precious daughter. A family member of the 40-year-old suspect says he struggled recently with acute mental health issues. Card is a longtime Army reservist, and officials tell NBC News he threatened a military base and was sent by his own commanders to a mental health facility in July. That should have triggered uh, the yellow flag law and he should have been separated from his weapons. As the community reels from Maine's worst mass murder in history, now a lifetime of heartbreak for each victim taken. In Lewiston, Maine, Alice Barr, NBC News.